So it's kind of sunny here. So I left the window open and I got my sunglasses on. The big question is what is a DVT? A DVT is a deep venous thrombosis. Now, what the hell? A deep venous thrombosis means that it's a vein, venous meaning vein, deep meaning inside of your limb, deep inside, it's not a superficial. Thrombosis meaning blood clot, deep venous thrombosis. And what's the big deal about a deep venous thrombosis? Well, a little digression real quick. The clotting system of the body has two parts. One of them is called the fibrin system. And there's a whole bunch of chemical reactions that when you get a cut, uh, the damaged tissue sends out messages to the blood. And in the blood, there are chemicals called fibrin and fibrinogen and all that kind of stuff. And what happens is these chemicals form lattice work around those areas. And this lattice work begins to trap blood uh, red, red blood cells and these red blood cells get trapped in the lattice work and they um, form a blockage and it stops bleeding the other part are platelets platelets are components of blood and they're very sticky and what platelets do is when there is a little hole boom like a little patch so there's two parts of the clotting system the fibrin system and then there is the um, platelets. So normally when there's damage to the body, these two systems come together to save the day and stop the bleeding. Problem is this, there are conditions where the blood is thicker. There are a lot of more platelets. There's a lot more fibrin, fibrinogen and all that kind of stuff. That one of them would be cancer. And patients with cancer have a thicker um, blood okay people with um, genetic conditions in which they produce a lot of blood nor naturally it's called polycythemia vera a lot of words there's conditions like thrombocytosis where you make a lot of platelets all of these conditions can cause clotting in the blood vessels without an injury but honestly this isn't where DVTs are most dangerous I mean this isn't um, why I'm telling you about DVTs. DVTs happen commonly in people who do not walk a lot. In other words, if you are a cross-country driver, if you are a cross-country pilot, if you sit for long periods at a time and don't walk and don't move and don't move your legs and don't get the blood circulating, there's a possibility that you can have a clot form at that part of your blood vessel that bends or just in a part of the blood vessel where there is poor flow because poor flow in a blood vessel just like if you took blood and put it in a little tube if you don't have flow this stuff will clot so and not unusual thing would be to have a cross-country truck driver come into the uh, emergency department because they have a swollen leg and they'll come in and then they'll do a sonogram, which is how you find it, and you find a clot in the leg. And then you'll ask the, the person who was driving, you'll say, how long have you been driving? Well, I went eight hours straight without stopping. That's a hell of a drive, but it happens. And it's either that, or um, they have some kind of underlying disease, or you know, simply they haven't gotten up to walk. And that's why the recommendation is when you go on a long trip, Every couple of hours, get up, walk around. When you're in the driving, you move your feet, move your legs, all that kind of stuff. So what's the danger of a DVT? Big deal, it swells. It can get infected, but the hardest thing, the, the, the worst part is that you can have a little piece of that clot break off and travel to your lungs. And if it travels to your lungs, what happens is it blocks off a bit of the vascular system to the lungs which means that you lose the ability to transfer oxygen in and out of your blood and CO2 out of your blood. If it is a big chunk, and if it is a chunk that lands in a specific area, you could literally die from it. The treatment is with blood thinners, anticoagulants. Usually you start out with heparin, you get the, the, the blood anticoagulated, then you move on to 
something um, you know something different. They can either go with Coumadin or we can go with injectables at long acting, but it's an anticoagulant. This is the treatment. Now, why would the anticoagulant work, and and how does the anticoagulant work? It can work on the fibrin or the platelets, usually on the fibrin system. And it, what it does is it prevents the clot from getting bigger. These things don't break up the clot. The body naturally does that. And it takes time. So after your first DVT, you get on anticoagulation for six months. And then you stop. If you get another DVT, you're on anticoagulation for life. If you get a pulmonary embolus, which is the clot that leaves from the DVT and goes into the lungs, usually the same, but most people nowadays go with anticoagulation for life. So deep venous thrombosis, that's something you know now.